technology. You know how when new gadgets uh, or phones or laptops are released with all tons of features that are really different from, you know, the older models? Or sometimes are way better. Yeah, and you know, people are subtle coaxing to uh, abandoning the old gadgets for these new ones. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's not even just about these gadgets. They come so pricey. But on today's episode, we'll be exploring ways on how you can get great gadgets at very affordable prices. Come along now. With the increasing number of consumer electronic manufacturers, there are plenty of options and alternatives available in the market for those who wish to buy a new device. And this is why whenever we decide to buy or purchase a new electronic device, we're overwhelmed by the sheer number of options we have at our disposal and become confused. Whether or not you want to go for the expensive brand names is decided by a limited budget. So, I like the word living rich cheaply. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not a frugal person and I do not like to confuse cost with quality. But many people believe that when they pay a little bit more for something, they get more value than the one with the lower price tag. So this one is for 49. According to the Journal of Consumer Research, a high price indicates either bad value or good quality, whereas low price indicates either good value or poor quality. It goes on to say that consumers usually do not have all the available information on a product, so they use informal and common sense explanations to make that determination, such as price. And I'll say a no, no, no to that. Now, the first rule when buying an electronic device isn't necessarily the brand or the price, but specifications and reviews. And for the TVs I'm going to be reviewing on this segment, I'll be considering the price and the screen size. Have a price point of about 70,000 Naira and a screen size of 32 inches. And yes, this is a sharp 32 inch uh, TV. It's got superb uh, ultra high definition LED TV. And um, it's just got one HDMI port, you know, just by the side. I like this fact because I don't have to start fiddling underneath here to, you know, to plug my peripherals. They're just right here. And it's got superb sound and uh, an eco friendly screen. the shop is it's got very rich sound like the sound is coming right back at you Whoa. and the LED you know it's manageable it's so great but everything seems to be in place The key features of the Sunfrost 32 inch is that it's got a high quality, you know, Ultra HD panel and it's got USB uh, movie, it supports USB movie, then a 1366 by 768 megapixel ratio and a contrast ratio of 3000 to 1.
features a slim LED with a very shiny black, you know, frame. Uh, it's got two HDMI ports, two USB ports, and it's also got a 3D combo filter. Amazing. I mean, the sound is not as great as the scan frost, but for 50,000 Naira, that's a bargain. So guys, what's the verdict? Yeah, I like the shot. 32 inches for about 48,000 Naira, which is about the cheapest in my review. Uh, but again, I do not like the fact that I just have one in my socket on the side. The sound is rich, you know, it comes back at you. And then you have the Royal, the Royal at 32 inches. Which one are you buying? 